My name is Neil Melville. I'm the Parabolic Flight Coordinator for the European Space Agency. We're here in Bordeaux for the 71st ESA Parabolic Flight campaign. Um, we use parabolic flight for zero gravity research. The plane flies in a parabolic arc, falling out of the sky effectively, and the uh, microgravity conditions produced on board are just the same as we find in space on the International Space Station and in our other microgravity research platforms. So welcome on board, of course, just as with any plane. We have to have uh, seats and seat belts and all the normal safety equipment for takeoff and for landing. So this is where the scientists and engineers can sit. Uh, there are 40 spaces in total that we have on board these flights. Now we are entering the experiment area. And uh, this is where all the experiments you can see are installed uh, on the floor. We have a padded floor, walls and ceiling to keep everybody safe. Uh, this is a French experiment from uh, Issei Ansma, and it's looking at uh, heat transfer. This is very important uh, technology. All electronics need to be cooled, and in space this is particularly difficult because you're, you're losing uh, convection and buoyancy and uh, evaporation works differently. Um, so this is looking at heat pipes to transfer heat away from electronics and pump it out of these uh, big fans you see on the side. It's testing different types of pipes, different types of fluid inside. So it's really uh, for, for technological advancement into the future. Um, this uh, next experiment uh, is a German experiment called a PK4, and PK stands for plasma crystal. This is uh, creating a plasma inside and then uh, effectively a crystal of many body uh, particles all repelling each other into a lattice type structure. This is a fundamental physics experiment and uh, these kind of uh, dusty plasmas, they, they occur in, uh, in, in astronomy, we see them in uh, other, other solar systems for example, but they also occur in uh, some manufacturing processes. So it's important to understand but it's really a fundamental research that we'll apply to things uh, later on. Moving further through the plane, we have a number of other experiments but a nice one to focus on here is uh, looking at uh, perceived distance, uh, egocentric distance. So it asks the test subject to estimate how far away a target is, then they are blindfolded and they have to move themselves on this sledge along the rope to where they think the target was. And you're comparing the difference between where they thought the target would be and where they actually move themselves physically, so how far they think they've moved. The point is that in zero gravity, we find that our perceptions are very different, particularly on the vertical axis, where we are asymmetrical. We are quite bad at estimating distances upwards, and we're bad in a different way at estimating them downwards. With the sledge in this configuration, we're actually going side to side as a control experiment. But this is going to be useful for astronauts' spatial awareness and understanding how our, uh, our body awareness and uh, the awareness of uh, objects around us that we're working with changes when we're working in space. So around us you can see the scientists and engineers are downloading all their data from the first flight today, getting ready uh, for their experiments for tomorrow, for the next flight. And uh, tomorrow we expect to, of course, have another 30 parabolas, another 10 minutes of zero gravity, which we can collect more data, get more good science, and try and answer some of these scientific questions that we're asking. Okay, so welcome to the second flight of the campaign. We're in the break uh, halfway through at the moment. So we've done 15 parabolas. We've got 15 parabolas yet to go. 30, 40, so these guys are looking at bubble evaporation off of a unique kind of surface, looking at the, the boiling, uh, how it is changed by these nanostructures. It seems to be going very well, but they're very focused. I don't want to disturb them. I just like to check the results. I can see the uh, experiment working nicely. Thirty, forty, 40, 
I like to get a good vantage point so I can see what's going on with many experiments. So here we're back looking at PK4, the plasma crystal experiment. One of the interesting things about this is that it also has a very similar uh, related experiment already on the International Space Station. Um, here they are doing some tests that are not possible on the space station and also checking their parameters, defining some tests that they will do on orbit later. And they, uh, This is a, a good usage of time, so we make sure that we optimize what we do with the astronauts in space on a later date. It's very important to have complementary uh, experiments like this so they can help each other out across multiple uh, microgravity platforms. So this is a Danish experiment looking at uh, measuring blood volume in reduced gravity. Uh, this is a, a precursor, a test experiment, making sure that the hardware works okay, seeing if the, how much the processes can be automated with a view ultimately to having this on the space station, but also in high altitude research locations to understand uh, the effects on the human body uh, in terms of how the blood volume changes and how uh, this affects the subject's health. So here we are with the Swiss experiment, looking at spinal stiffness, seeing how uh, not just one gravity, but two gravities and zero gravity affects the stiffness of the spine of the subjects. So they have this apparatus attached to the back with a piston pushing in to the L3 vertebrae and uh, some sensors to see how the spine and the muscles and the cartilage respond. So, Carsten, welcome back down onto the ground. How was your team? How was your personal experience of the campaign? I would say compared to all our, all, all our previous experiences, this is, as you said, this is the first time that we fly. And this is, of course, a very special uh, thing and cannot be contrasted to the high altitude stuff that we have done in the, in the past. It's absolutely amazing. I had a great time up there. Uh, luckily, all our experiments went really, really well. We had um, a lot of data measurements we had to take and everything worked completely from the first um, parable on. And um, so we were very, very excited about that. And for me personally, it was like my first flight ever. Um, and it was so amazing. I'm so excited. Thank you.